Hello, my good friends. This is Chaos Angel here. Yes, uh, I apologize. As I have actually pointed out on my Discord that I was going to be taking a look at the updated website, or not updated website, but fairly new website of the Final Fantasy 16 teasers. Or just overall information that they have for us that most Final Fantasy fans would most certainly like to partake in. And I'm pretty sure a great number of them, as far as Mr. Happy, Mione, uh, even Final Fantasy uh, Peasant, and possibly even uh, Night Sky Prince, I'm pretty sure, already on the ball. Me, I'm pretty much failing, but... I had some stuff that needed to be taken care of, so it's like it's it's really no big deal. Um, with that in mind, uh, there's only been a certain number of things that I haven't truly even seen, like as far as reading in depth of the characters and then so on and so forth. But it's just like looking at just how amazing it is. I just couldn't help but want to go ahead and get my new wallpaper. I can't really show it right now, but you'll be able to see it on the website. I mean, it's literally just the cover in and of itself. So let's go ahead and get into the show. All right. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. So with that in mind, just look at, look, look, just look at this. This is essentially the box art. Right here, this 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 right here is pretty much the box art. I just cannot wait to see what that collector's edition is gonna be looking like. Apologies, that wasn't supposed to be making that sound. Anyway, we got the Phoenix, we got the Ifrit, we got the dude Clive in the freaking center looking like a badass. By the way, I just want to point out that so far I've been noticing a, a lot of interesting patterns when it comes to some of the main characters so far in terms of their design. Uh, I don't know whether or not if it was uh, just me, but um, I will be honest. Dude's just looking just a tad bit... Uh, just just a just a tad bit familiar I, I i really gotta say like uh i don't know something something's looking just 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 a bit eerily familiar here i i don't i don't know about you um is it me it's probably just me maybe most likely but whatever Anyway, <clears throat> with that in mind, the legacy of the crystals has shaped our future for long enough. You know what that sounded like to me? That's, that's sounding like the whole crystal theme aspect of Final Fantasy is drawing to a close at some, in some cases from what that sounds like. Be like, this, this shit is getting a little bit over um overbearing just 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 a tad just a tad so other than that uh moving along i've already seen the majority of some of the stuff uh well not like this as far as the world and the characters but um i did read some of this as um i just wanted to take a look at what the majority of was on or what they would be showing on the main page oh excuse me and yeah the messages from the developers uh many of you have already read that and i've read it myself so there's really no point in us going over that the most important thing is the characters that is what we will most certainly be going over um and first and foremost the main character clive rosefield or rossfield it's probably rossfield no i say rose uh clive rosefield the first born son of the archduke of rosaria um though all expected him to inherit the phoenix flames and awaken as his dominant 
Destiny instead chose his younger brother Joshua to bear his uh, bear this burden. In search of a role of his own, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade. His practice pays off when, at just 15 years of age, he wins the Ducal <coughs> Tournament and is dubbed the first shield of Rosaria. Tasked to guard the Phoenix and blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. Alas, Clive's promising career is to end in tragedy at the hands of a mysterious dark icon, Ifrit, setting him on a dangerous road to revenge. Yeah, that that pretty much boils it down to what we uh, already surmised from just what the trailer gave us. So yeah, that uh, that definitely that definitely sums it up. <clears throat> You have to forgive me right now i have been reacting to pretty much five to maybe six um consecutive videos and have been talking for about a good 30 to 45 minutes and i'm gonna be talking even more so it's like it, your dude needs to hydrate <clears throat> need to need, need to liquefy myself um, that didn't make any sense, honestly. Um, let's just continue. Joshua. Oh, boy. Who just unfortunately didn't live long. The second son of the Archduke of Rosaria and Clive's younger brother by five years. Joshua awoke as the dominant of the Phoenix soon after his birth. Despite his noble upbringing, Joshua treats all his father's subjects with warmth and affection, none more so than Clive, whom he deeply admires. Joshua often laments that it was he, the frail and bookish younger son, who was granted command of, of the Firebird's flame and not his stronger, braver brother. While Clive will gladly throw himself into any danger, Joshua quails uh, at the sight of a carrot on his dinner plate. <laughs> uh, but carrots become the least of his concerns when he too was swept up into the tragic events that changed Clive's lives, uh, Clive's lives forever. Quite so indeed. And then of course this lovely individual that we saw in the trailer, Jill Warwick. Born in the fallen northern territories, Jill was taken from her homeland at a tender age to become a ward of Rosaria. Securing peace between the two warring nations, the Archduke insisted that she be raised alongside his sons. And now, at 12 years of age, she is as much a part of the Rosfield um, household as Clive and Joshua, ever kind, gracious, and unassuming. Jill has become a trusted confidant to the brothers. Is it me or did anyone else get a Luna Freya from that? Like, I'm going to be honest. In some parts of that just ooze Luna Freya to a T but uh, hopefully she will have a lot more to uh, go by in this story um, and a lot more involvement and I'm pretty sure she will especially considering how she has played quite a good uh, well not really good but played a good part in their lives and has a tragic backstory so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's definitely going to be uh, one of not exactly a key character but one character to look at um look after and whatnot. so now let's go ahead and take a look at the world 
Still though, like I, I swear, I felt like I just read a snippet of what Luna Freya was. Anyway, the world. And uh, here we have an artwork that we've actually seen before. It's actually kind of surprising because if I remember correctly, this was the very same artwork that was pretty much used as the whole rumor of a new project that was being done um, by uh, Yoshi P's group and so on and so forth. Creative, um, the fuck? I'm losing my train of thought already. Anyway, um, I just had a brain fart. You're gonna have to excuse me. Straight down the street, essentially this was an art piece that was literally used during the time when we have been speculating on the fact that could this possibly be Final Fantasy 16? And here we are, it is. This is where this art came from. And lo and behold, I am freaking flabbergasted right now. I swear, because it's just like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm getting some Lim um, Limza Lamensa vibes. Actually, you know what? No, not Limza Lamensa. I'm getting Ish Ishgard vibes right now. Like I'm getting the Holy Sea at the moment. Anyway, so the world in and of itself is Velisthea. I think that's how you pronounce it. Velisthea. A land blessed in the light of the mother crystals. The land of Valisthea is studded with mother crystals, glittering mountains of crystal that tower over the realms around them, blessing them with aether. For generations, people have flocked to these beacons to take advantage of their blessing, using the aether to conjure magics that let them live lives of comfort and plenty. Great powers have grown up around each mother crystal, and an uneasy peace has long reigned between them. Yet now the peace falters as the spread of the blight threatens to destroy their dominions. Okay, so that was something that we pretty much heard from the trailer, the spread of the blight, which seems to be pretty much like... Uh, Ah, uh, I can only think that is on a similar vein to that of Final Fantasy 15, but not entirely. Um, considering how this is mostly just coming from the world in and of itself i can only i can only imagine that this is coming from just the overuses of the mother crystal or something of that nature maybe maybe not where i'm still not 100 sure how in the world this uh, where the split on um, the spread of the blight is even coming from but even then i don't really even think that that is like the biggest issue that's gonna be um present in the story like i really don't think that's gonna be the main plot issue it's definitely gonna be one um one part of it it's, it's gonna be one of the reasons why the uh issue um is addressed and whatnot but other than that as far as like the main cause there has to be like something or someone that's actually causing it And we'll be figuring that out sooner um, soon enough. Anyway, icons. Here, I really thought that for some reason it was going to be actually spelled icons, like I C O N. But no, it's just the usual icons, as uh, per usual for many other um, Final Fantasy, um, Final Fantasy games. Icons and their dominance. The icons are the most powerful and deadly creatures in Valley. I swear, it's very hard for me to actually roll that off the tongue. Valisthea. Valisthea. Okay. Each resides within a dominant, 
A single man or woman who is blessed with the ability to call upon their dread power. Uh, dread. In some nations, these dominants are treated as royalty in admiration of this poem of this strength. In others, they are bound in fear of it and forced to serve as weapons of war. Those who are born as dominants cannot escape their fate, however cruel it may be. So um, that leads me into thinking of maybe the dominant of Shiva is actually treated as a weapon of war, most likely. I can only imagine that being so. Due to the very vibe of what um, the very start of the trailer was giving me when it came to it. Like, it, it didn't sound as though, like, she was treated as a person, but more so as a thing, for some reason. Whoever that character may be. And, um, here we have the map. I was actually kind of surprised that we're seeing the map. Like, look at this shit. Um, we have quite a good number of things that will definitely give us a good idea where everything is located. Which reminds me. Oh. Well, what do you know? We found where this is at. It's actually located right here. Cool. Um, I'm actually kind of interested in exactly how they formulate their maps sometimes. Like, could this possibly be based somewhat on Earth? I mean, some ways you can just like turn it around and so on and so forth maybe maybe not they may have created it on their own so the realms of Valisthea. i swear i just cannot pronounce that correctly anyway um so i i feel like the freaking h is most likely silent i just don't know Valistia. um uh, that may be that actually rolled off the tongue a lot um a lot better i will be honest philistia uh so with that long ago oh by the way just need to read some of that so this is the grand duchy of rosaria and here's the flag uh i wonder where that's located do they have it on the map is it somewhere around here uh, can i pinpoint it doesn't look like it can't really see anything okay um doesn't look like i'll be able to find that on here so with that in mind so the grand duchy of rosaria long ago a group of small independent provinces in western valistia yeah that that actually rolls off the tongue a lot better i'm gonna i'm just gonna pronounce it that way is that good all right good all right good found strength and unity and formed the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. After years of relative prosperity, the duchy now finds itself threatened by the spread of the blight, a threat that left unchecked would doubtless usher the realm to ruin. Rosaria draws its aether from Drake's Breath, a mother crystal situated on a volcanic island off the coast. The dominant of the phoenix, Icon of Fire, is enthroned as inch, um, Archduke when they come of age. Okay. Okay. And Drake's Breath draws its aether from the Drake's Breath, a mother crystal situated on the volcanic island off the coast. Uh, Would that technically be over here I don't know uh, but okay so we got pretty much a good idea of what uh, Rosaria's location is all about now that's good to know and now we have the Holy Empire of Sembrek I wonder if I pronounced that correctly um, possibly maybe Sambrak is the largest theocratic force in Vlistia. The Empire's holy capital, Oriflame, is built around the Drake's head. Drake's head. Drake's breath. I'm sensing a pattern here already. 
the mother crystal that blessed the surrounding provinces with abundant aether. The people happily take advantage of this, living in the comfort and security under the watchful gaze of the holy emperor, whom they worship as the living incarnation of the one true deity. The dominant of blank serves as the empire's champion taking to the field in times of war to rout its enemies hmm hmm well considering how um considering how this could pretty much be a number of things um you can take some of the context clues from this and probably boil it down to a couple of possibly a couple of uh of summons right now i am most certainly getting a i'm getting thordan not exactly uh i'm i swear i am seriously getting the round from this like, that is essentially what I'm getting, but it wouldn't entirely make sense. Because it's like... Would the dominant technically be Thordan? Or would... Hmm, it's kind of hard to actually tell. Honestly, if they... Um, considering how it's a theocratic force and so on and so forth like their forces is seriously big and then of course it's the empire and then obviously holy most certainly uh i will be honest definitely sticks out honestly when it comes to it there's only like two summons that i can think of when i hear holy and that's alexander and that's the round but um i will be honest Alexander doesn't entirely make too much sense to me, especially considering the actual flags. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not I'm not entirely sure what to what to say on how it relates to that logo, to that symbol. It, I'm drawing a blank here. I'm, I'm seeing a possibly a heavenly person, which again kind of makes uh, but it's just like you have dragons embroiled here so it's like it's in the inside i don't know we'll we'll just have to like test the reins uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh what happens and just go from there but i will say this is looking Oh, so obvious right now. <laughs> the kingdom of Woled. I highly doubt I pronounced that correctly. I'm just going to be real now. Uh, Woled claims the entirety of Ash, the eastern half of Valistia, as its dom um, dominion. The kingdom's control of the continent. Oh, excuse me has often been tested by the orcs and other beastmen who make their home there. But the current ruler of the realm, dominant of Onan, <laughs> has succeeded in quelling their rebellions. Using the power of the kingdom's mother crystal, Drake's spine, this new king has built up a mighty army with which he now seeks to test the borders of his neighbors yeah i'm gonna be real with you the moment i even saw this that literally looks like slept near. like you cannot tell me that this has nothing to do with odin that is odin to a t and thank god i'm gonna be seeing him in this game in freaking high definition freaking 110 percent next generation quality graphics I'm, I'm ready and at the same time my body is not ready oh wow 
Uh, is it me or am I looking at the flames? I'm going to be real with you. Like, some of these actually do look fairly familiar. Like, this could... Seriously. This this could pretty much be the Holy See right here. Um, That's the reason why I get so many freaking Ishgard vibes from this one. And then this one. This straight up just looks like the Immortal Flames. Sort of. Interesting. The Dalmechian. Dalmec. Of course. It was, uh, it was pretty much said within the trailer. Uh, the Dalmegs and so on and so forth. Uh, there was a whole entire freaking, um, debacle inside of the, uh, trailer when it came to that. So, the Dalmechian Republic is made up of five states from which the members of its ruling parliaments are drawn. The Mother Crystal Drake's Fang is hit, half hidden in the heart of the mountain range. The Republic's control over it and its aether securing the obedience of the large part of the southern Valistia. The dominant of Titan, Icon of Earth, is installed as a special supervisor to the parliament. Uh... That's interesting and different. Ah, oh, got my neck. Um, okay, then. There was a lot of things going on in there that was kind of hard for me to grasp. And let me read that again. It's made up of five states which the members of its ruling parliament are drawn. Its mother crystal Drake's Fang is half hidden in the heart of a mountain range. The Republic's control over and its aether securing the obedience of the large part of the southern Valistia. The, dom the dominant of Titan, Icon of Earth, is installed as a supervisor to parliament and has a significant say in its decision making okay you're gonna have to give me a second all right there we go um you'll have to forgive me uh when it came to history and various words of government and so on and so forth they pretty much just blank out of my mind i'm gonna be real with you so it's like when it came to parliament i hardly even remember what parliament even is and it's essentially like a house of commerce or something of that nature. So, alright. I get it. Alright. I got you. And um, the Dominant is essentially a special advisor to Parliament. And is the one that makes the decision makings. Okay. Okay. That's very interesting. Especially for the one that's uh, representing Titan. Huh, different. The Iron Kingdom. I don't know, I'm getting Final Fantasy X vibes just by looking at this. Uh, the Iron Kingdom, a small group of islands off the coast of... Oh, actually, now that I think about it, that's right here. So that's where that's located. That's where Iron is located. Okay. So, um... In the western half of Alistia Twin Realms, here the crystalline orthodox and extreme faith that worships crystals reign supreme. The Iron Kingdom controls Drake's breath. Didn't I just read that? Uh, hold on a minute. Didn't I just read that? Yeah, it did. That's near Rosaria. Wait, is that located within the same location? Is like Rosaria located somewhere around here? Or somewhere around here? But that wouldn't make any sense. That's where uh, Iron would be. So, Rosaria would have to be lo- uh, mm, Would this technically be essentially Rosaria? Huh. 
Interesting. They're located within the same locations. Uh, the mother crystal that sits at the heart of one of their islands. Long a source of contention with neighboring Rosaria. Yeah, there you go. Uh, isolated and aloof from the mainland nations, the Iron Blood speak their own. Okay, that's interesting. Orthodox doctrine judges dominance to be unholy abominations. Wait. Orthodox doctrine judges dominance to be unholy abominations. So the crystalline orthodox finds the um, dominance just to be something insignificant. Jesus to the point where they execute them oh that's fucked up I'm starting to get what they mean of the whole entire uh, in others they are bound in fear of it yeah that 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 makes total sense there, there obviously had to be the black, well, I can't say black sheep, but the, the, the quote unquote cultic kind of, uh, vocation. All right, then. And then of course the crystalline dominion. Oh my God. Straight up Final Fantasy 14. I swear if it wasn't enough when it comes to the actual freaking flag itself. Straight up Castarium. I swear. Uh, the Crystalline Dominion sits at the heart of Valistia. Built around the tallest of all the Mother Crystals, Drake's Tail, many bloody ba battles were fought for control of this small plot of land. Due to his strategic importance, till the warring realms finally agreed to an um I actually completely forgot how to pronounce that word. I have never I have barely really said that word to really even bother pronouncing that word correctly. So you're gonna have to give me a second. Okay, so I had a feeling, but I wasn't 100 percent sure. So I just need to check. Armistice. <clears throat> As part of the peace treaty, the islands around Drake's tail became an automatous uh, dominion led by a council of representatives from the surrounding nations, each realm enjoying equal claim to the Mother Crystal's blessing. No dominant makes their home there. And then of course there actually has to be a location that doesn't exactly have a dominant per se. Okay, okay. This is quite an amalgamation of very different, uh, I wouldn't exactly say cultures, but essentially countries. Um, and I am very flabbergasted on just how in the world they come up with this shit so, so thoroughly. This is the kind of shit that I just really want to do when it comes to it, but it's just like, in order for me to do it, I need to do my research. And that's why I really, really wish that I had paid just a tad bit more attention when it came to history class. To the point where I could remember some of this shit. Because I will be real with you. Even though I, I, I like literally ace my history classes, I barely remember any of it. <laughs> Oh my god. So with that in mind, yeah, there's there's a lot. There's a lot of not exactly heavy references, but there's a lot of similarities to certain things that you can pull from that can sort of make you feel like, okay, where could this possibly connect be connected to uh, I don't know maybe Final Fantasy 14 or Final Fantasy 10 or Final Fantasy 9 or f any 
or Final Fantasy Tactics, or so on and so forth, or Final Fantasy Twelve, all, all that good nonsense. But it's just like there's there's so many things that is very interesting when it comes to it, especially with the whole Drake thing. The fact that everything is tied and literally named under an actual body part and well not just body part but just uh an aspect of a dragon it makes me wonder whether or not if this game is also going to have something to do with you never really know maybe bah um bahamut as per usual or maybe something different maybe shinryu shit that would be freaking badass but it'll most likely be bahamut like i'm getting the strange feeling that bahamut will pretty much have a very significant role to play within this game just by how the world in and of itself or midgard somer Oh my god, another Final Fantasy 14. Even though, technically speaking, Midgar Somer is essentially Final Fantasy in essence. But it's just like... I can't get away from literally just going to Final Fantasy 14 and trying to connect this game with it. I swear. <laughs> but other than that, there's a lot to really talk about on this. And so I'm really going to be uh, holding on to this discussion for pretty much the people in the comments and then of course on discord and for those who are interested in wanting to discuss uh further onto discord the link is down below it's pretty much in every single one of my videos so i'll catch you there with that in mind we still have a lot in store for us and unfortunately we won't be seeing that until 2021 as well as some snippets of final fantasy 14 hopefully something to do with 6.0 most likely but uh, with that in mind guys i hope you enjoyed this little discussion video as far as looking at this website i will oh wow i can't believe i just did that i will um be taking my time in getting these videos out and they will most likely for the majority be out by tonight if not that tomorrow because it is freaking 12 44 getting to one o'clock and i need to go to work at eight um at nine i i your boy needs some sleep so with that in mind i shall be checking in you have a very nice day nice night nice morning nice afternoon all that good nonsense and i shall catch you in the next one Take care and peace out.